Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, I'm gonna bring be bringing you the second of my uh, toy reviews. Once again, I haven't seen this guy on YouTube uh, being flaunted about, um, so this might be an exclusive. It may not be. Right as of right now, I'm saying it is, but you know, if it isn't, you know, I retract that statement right now. Any case, so what I'm talking, of course, I'm talking about Hanky Smokescreen. Now, Smokescreen is this is a really another again another really nice repaint of the Prowl mold. Um, it really really works. I really like this guy. Um, nothing fancy, just you know, a nice powder blue red. I mean, just what makes what made uh, Red Alert, or not Red Alert, excuse me, what made uh, Smoke Screen so cool. Now the thing that really, that I really, really dig about this toy is the chrome right here. I mean, the, the red chroming. I didn't even notice it until I started really uh, monkeying with this guy, so really cool. really like him. Anyways, I'm going to transform him off screen, talk to you guys a little bit. Because uh, you know we've all we've all seen the uh, prowl slash smoke screen transformation. I will say one thing though, I I'm not having the sticky door problem with this figure. I am um, you know a lot of people complained about the prowl figure, and uh, I think the uh, silver streak um, or blue streak, which which whichever you prefer. I prefer Silver Streak because, uh, you know, he doesn't have any blue on him. But, um, no, I, I'm not having that problem with this toy. I'm actually, um, the only problem I'm really having with this toy is, uh, you know, the same problem I've had with the, uh, the other molds, and that's just transforming the little bugger. But, anyways, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have to... Yeah, but anyways, as I was saying, um, this this mold, I mean, this toy really works, and I really, I'm actually kind of hoping that they will uh, use this mold one more time. Maybe give us a jazz. That would, a, a jazz would be really nice. I would love a jazz from the classic slash universe line, uh, but you know. Will we get it? Probably not. Now, if someone else has this figure, let me know, because this is the first time I've actually done the whole transforming back. Does your foot get stuck? And I cannot get it to come back. So, you know, I'm going to come back to you guys really quickly. See you later. Bye. Alright, sorry about that, guys. We're back. And, um, yeah, this is Smokescreen in his, uh, car mode. Once again, it's beautiful. It, this is just a gorgeous figure. I highly, highly recommend him to people. Um, if you can find, uh, the blue, str the blue streak. Um, another thing I want to point out, uh, yep, here we go, is that they come with, they each come with their individual comic. This is the one that I pulled out of um, Red Alerts. Um, now I don't uh, honestly know if there if there's a difference between the two, but um, you know we get an advertisement for Revenge of the Fallen, and we get you know a nice little manga of, you know, uh, uh, what is it, Octane being goofy with Cyclonus and things like that. So, I mean, yeah, I, this was, all in all, these were good, these were good buys. Um, they're definitely good figures. I definitely would say, um, 
with the time, if you have time, effort, and money, pick them up. I, I'm totally digging them. I'm totally loving them. Just once again, um, let's turn this this mold right here. Um, jazz, anyone? Would love to see a jazz. Anyways, this is on QR Excalibur. Those are my two exclusive slash non-exclusive Gold Week toy reviews. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Uh, I know I enjoyed doing them. I'm sorry that some of them, I, I didn't really go far into their backstory, but, you know, what have you. Anyways, this is Unky or Excalibur saying, take it easy, guys, and if it's easy, take it twice. Later.